longer sing Shalom for weekdays, but my entire folder is here somewhere. I just don't know where. Okay. We okay. usually put we usually put stuff up on the screen. So okay. hopefully you'll be able to see that. Fabulous. Fabulous. So don't worry about that. I have I haven't attended the class in a couple of weeks. I know we didn't have class for two weeks, but prior to that, I just couldn't. I wasn't home. I had wedding and I had all kinds of good things. That's so, okay. Whatever, mm -hmm. whatever, whatever you come and attend and learn is more than you had before. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate your understanding. <laughs> no, it's fine. Just fine. Thank you. How's everybody been? Sandra, have you been? Good, thank you. Yeah, good, good, good. I was away for the weekend. I just got home and I had the heat down. So I'm in a sweatshirt. I have tea. Oh, I'm freezing. <laughs> we were spoiled for a couple of days with higher temperatures, but then it took a nosedive again. Right, right. So I was up in Boston. So it was a little warmer, but it was still pretty cold. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I have a lot of family in Sharon, Massachusetts. Okay. Yeah, my sister lives in Hyde Park, which is just south of Boston. Oh, okay. And uh, my brother lives in Groton, Massachusetts, which is near the New Hampshire border. Hmm. So I didn't get to see my brother this trip, but I saw him, but I stayed with my sister. Good. So that was nice. And we saw them uh, Christmas weekend. All four of us kids went away together. So beautiful with all the kids and all that. So they all got to see each other, which was nice. So beautiful. My sister's, my sister has the youngest kids. She's got a three-year-old and a seven-year-old. So that's oh. so fun. <laughs> there. It's such a great age to play. It with, is. You know. It is. They are very sweet. Yeah. And my three-year-old niece is so smart. Oh, she's like reading and you know beautiful does she go to a nursery program of some sort she actually goes to boston public schools oh. and she was accepted good. into their uh preschool program good wonderful so, but good. her my sister works my sister um my sister has a high job so her husband's the one who stayed home with the kids all these years and um, you know, he taught them their colors and their numbers and their letters and their, all that stuff. And, uh, he did a great job. <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful. So, yeah. Beautiful. And, uh, then I said something like, um, and he's not Jewish, my brother-in-law. Oh, and, uh, I said something about, I can't remember what I said something about. And my, my niece, the three-year-old said, we light Hanukkah candles. We are Jewish. <laughs> and I was like okay good uh, okay well they are their mom they are their mom is Jewish yeah. and they are Jewish yeah and they're raising them Jewish you know and they you know they they go to to Nani and Papa's house for Christmas but you know but they have you know their their house isn't Christmas you know right so okay. they have that separation which is nice and um um, you know, she plays Shabbat songs for them and stuff like that. When they came to visit me over the summer, we went to talk Shabbat at my shul. Beautiful. My niece knew all the songs and the rabbi was so impressed. <laughs> Cute. He's like, do you go? He says to, to my nephew, do you go to shul at home? And he goes, what's shul? Like, he oh. <laughs> okay. You know, <laughs> I have. I have two uh, great grandsons who go to a Montessori yeshiva, and they've learned so much. The, well, the yeah. one is two and a half, and the other one is uh, four and a half. But uh, they love to go, and they've learned a lot. So. Yeah. No, there's something to be said for touch about when they do everything with songs and all that, and you really do get to learn a lot through that. Right. So, so that's nice. Yeah. Good. So everybody's hoping for a healthy and a happy and a peaceful 2023. Yeah, yeah, we can only hope it should be right. good. Hopefully. Everybody should be healthy, so. 
uh, 2022 was rough, <laughs> but we focus on the brachas as much as we can. Right. We've had a couple of rough years, so yes, hopefully this, you know, this will be much better. So we will see. We will see day by day. I say we take it day by day and absolutely. That's a good yes. attitude. Thank you. Thank for what we have today. Absolutely. Okay. I'm going to go find my link to the CDR so I can put that up here. I haven't done it. I haven't done it in so long. Um, I'm so aggravated about not finding my folder. I know it's here. I just don't know where, which pile it's under. Right. At the project for tomorrow. I'll turn my house upside down. Ah, you'll find it when you least expect to find it. Right. Absolutely. That's what I always say. Right. Very true. It happened. Yeah.
Hi, Terry. I didn't see you come in. I was looking at my notes and my um, texts and stuff. So sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Normally there's a, there's a little ding dong when someone comes in. So, <laughs> um, okay. So um, let's start. Um, I hope everybody had a good little couple of week vacation and um, getting to see family and stuff like that, even though really not our holidays, but we have off from work. So, and from life. So it's nice to be able to see families and things like that during this time. So um, I thought we would start with, uh, so what we've done so far up until now is we've basically done the Shabbat morning and Musaf service. We reviewed it. Um, I'd like to today cover Birkat Amazon and then go back and make sure we know the service for Friday night in the home, right? Kiddush, Motzi, Blessing the Kids, that sort of thing. And then go back to Friday night in the shul for the next couple of weeks. But if there's something that you want to learn that we haven't covered, then I want to do it. So email me or at the end of the class, let's talk about it and see if there's anything that you want to learn that you haven't learned in these last two semesters and we'll go over it. Um, because I want the whole idea of this class is to make sure that you're comfortable at shul. So if there's something at shul that you're not comfortable with, that you wanna get more comfortable with, I wanna do it with you, okay? Um, but let's start with the Birkat zone. Now I have, let me just see what I have here. Um, all right, I'm gonna pull this one up and I'm gonna have to zoom in on it. Um, here we go. Okay, let me pull this one up. This is like a one sheeter that's used for Birkat zone. I can't find it in the C door. But if you have a C door and you want to try to find it, then um, it's usually in the back of the book. I'm going to make this bigger uh, because we don't really need the ink, the uh, transliteration here. Um, so what was I going to say? Um, The Birkat zone really is um, is said after meals. You know, we say hamotzi before meals, um, but after meals, we really, um, whoops, I didn't need to share that. Um, we really don't have, we really, this is what we have. And it's for any kind of meal, whether it's just a short meal or a long meal. Um, some people will say the first um, paragraph together and everything else silently. Um, let's see if I have any notes on this else about the how it came about. Um, okay, so here are my notes. Um, mandated for use of any meal following uh, a, a, a piece of bread. And the piece of bread is an olive-sized piece of bread, right? Um, and, uh, the main blessings are about the food, the land, Jerusalem, and God's goodness, right? We're always thanking God. You know how we said in the Kaddish, we're thanking God and, and, and exalting God. So first we're going to thank God. For, first, we're going to thank God for the food. We're going to thank God for the land of Israel. We're going to thank God for Jerusalem and for we're going to thank God for his goodness. Um, and if you think of this like a ladder, right? Like, um, I'm going to stop this share for a second because we're not looking at the text. If you think of this as a ladder, almost like Maslow's hierarchy of needs, right? Remember that from like your freshman year in college. You've got the first blessing is your personal needs, the food. The second is the physical needs of the nation, right? Thanking the land. The third is the spiritual aspirations of the nation, Jerusalem and the temple in Jerusalem. And the fourth, 
blessing is kind of like the ultimate aspiration, um, which is the, which is thanking God. So, um, so that's where this comes about and, um, and where, and, and why we say it and how, and all of that. And now we're going to talk about how we say it, um, on Shabbat. Now I'll share the screen again. Where is it? Here it is. Yeah. On Shabbat, we start with Shir Hamalot, right? Um, or any holiday. We start with Shir Hamalot. Um, how about, uh, let me make it even bigger, because now I'm looking at it saying, oh, it's kind of small. All right. I think that's as big as I can make it. All right. Move it over. Say again? Move it over to the left, because I can hardly see. Yeah. Better? Oh, yeah. Better? Okay. Yes. yes. Good, good, good. Okay. So I'll read the first line and then call on somebody to read it. I'll read the second line, call on somebody to read it, and uh, and we'll go from there. So the first line is Shir Hamaalot Beshuv Adonai et Shivat Sion Hayinu Kechol Mim. Terry, you want to read that? Shir Hama Hama Alot Lot. Bashuv Adonai et Shiva Zir Siron Sion Sion Hi, yeah, hi, he knew, hi, he knew, yep, ha, the, a new, ha, the last word, ka, the, new, mm. Hayinu, right? Hayinu, okay. K. K. He. 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 Right. Name. Good. Okay. Hi, Sharon. We're doing, uh, we're starting with Birkat Hamazon. And I have it up on the screen uh, because it's um, it's in the Sidur, but it's not in the Sidur that I have online. So, um, so page 754 in Sim Shalom. In Lev Shalem. In Lev Shalem, Terry? No, in uh, Sim Shalom. Sim Shalom. Okay. 754. Uh, Lev Shalom, it's probably somewhere at the end. It's probably in the table of contents. You can find it. Um, but I have Tell it. Tell me again what I'm looking for. Birkat Hamazon. It's the blessing after meals. Okay. Go, go ahead, don't let me hold oh, okay. you up. All right, the second line, I'll read it first. Az yimale stok pinu ul shonenu grina az yom ru vagoyim. Sandra, you want to try that? Az yimale stok Pinu u shonenu rina as omru vagom yim. Perfect. Next line. Higdil Adonai laasot im ele. 
I, Libby, why don't you try that one? Okay. He deo adonoi la asot im ele. Is that another adonoi? Um, no, those are quotes. Oh, that's the quote. Okay. Those he, are quotes. He, he deo adonoi la asot um, imanu, imanu chayim. Some semechim. Yep. Hayinu semechim. Perfect. Hayinu semechim. Perfect. All right. Next line. Shuva Adonai et Shevitenu ka afikim banegev. Sharon, are you with us, or should I skip? This I'm. Now? I'm with you. Um, okay. So go for it. Okay. <laughs> Shuvat. <laughs> Adonai et sabitenu um, ka'af ka'afi kim ba hmm, ba bana I'm having trouble with that one. Ne that's okay. Ba negev. negev. Ba negev. Okay. okay. Next line. Hazor im Bedim a berina yik soru. Terry, you want to do that just that until that period. Hi. 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 Or rim ba bar. Bar, bar, deem. That's, that's a dalid. Be, deem, ah. Bumim, bumima, bumima. Be, deem, ah. Be, deem, ah. Be, deem, ah. Um. Bar, bar. I have this reading light that I've been trying to do, use tonight. It's <laughs> horrible. Oh no! I thought it was great, but now my, my, I'm blinded by it. So let's see. Bar na yik sorry 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 you. Yep. All right. Next line is Haloch Yelech Uvacho Nose Meshech Hazara. Sandra, try that. Haloch Yelech Uvacho Nose Meshech Hazara. Okay. Bo, Yavo, Verina, No Say, Alu Motav. Let me try that. That's the last line in the middle? The mid, right. It starts in the middle here. Yeah, the last line. Okay. Bo, Yavo, Kadina, No Say, Alu. Alu, alu motav. Yep, perfect. And the traditional melody that goes along with this, again, this is what you're saying on Shabbat or on a holiday before you start the the um before you start the actual blessing of Birkat Amazon. Um, I'm trying to get the tune. Okay, well, here we go. She hamalot beshuv Adonai et shivat Zion hayinu kecholim azimale schok pinu ulshoneinu rina az yamru vagoim igdil Adonai. Lasot im ele 
Igila dona la soti manu ha yinu semechim shuva donai achivitenu ka afikim ba negev ha zorim petima berina yiktoru. Haloch yelech ubacho, no se meshech hazara, bo yavo yavo verina, no se alumotav. So that is right before. I'm going to skip the second paragraph, which is same same tune. So he lata donai daberpi. Um, some congregations do it, some don't. Um, but then we start, you have a lovely voice. <laughs> thank you. Um, and then we start. Here's where we go. And if you can see in English, it's leader, group, repeats, all of that, where the leader will say, and then everybody says, Yehi Shem Adonai Mevorach Meata Ve'ad Olam. The group leader will say, we'll repeat this again. Yehi Shem Adonai Mevorach Meata Ve'ad Olam Bershut Chaverai Neverech Eloheinu Shachalnu Mishelo. I got to move this over a teeny bit here. And then everyone responds to them. To the leader, Baruch Eloheinu Shachalnu Mishelo, Uv Tuvo Chayinu, Baruch Hu Uvaruch Shemo. Right? So that is probably very familiar to you. Is that very familiar to you? Yes? I hope. Yes. yes. Okay, good. So we're just going to do the first paragraph. Because like I said, a lot of congregations will just do the first paragraph and then anybody, everybody reads silently through the end, okay? So, but I want you guys, I want you guys, you ladies to, to actually know how to read this. So, okay, so I'll read the first line and then again, I'll call on you. Um, Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Hazan Et HaOlam Kulo Betuvo Bechain. We'll just do line by line here. And Terry and Sharon, if you found it in your CDR, you'll I'll stop you when we get to the end of the line that's on the screen here. Where where did you begin? Where did I begin? I don't mean the beginning, I like now when you re read that. Right here in your CDR, you're on I'm on page 758 at the very top. <laughs> okay. There it is. Did you want me to try to read it? Yeah. Okay. Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Hazon Et HaOlam Ba'ed No. Ba Kulau Bar Baruk Bear Bear Two Bar Two Bear Two Vo Bear Two Vo Bethain. Bethain. Perfect. Well, All right. The next, the next line that's on my screen here. I'll read it first. Bechesed uv rachamim hu notain lachem lechol basar ki leolam chas do. Sharon, you want to try that one? Sure. Uh, Chesed is where we're starting. Aren't we? 
that the second line, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Bechaset u uvrat. Oh boy, uvrat mim. Uvrachamim. Uvrachamim. There you go. Who? No, two. Who? Yeah, who? Who? Uh, no tain. Lecham. Lechem. Lechem. Oh, I have a trouble with that. Lechem. Lechem. Lechal. 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 Baz. Basher. Ki. Basar, yep. Basar. Basar. Ki. Le'olam. Ha, has, has, has dope. Yep. Now, remember that 90% of the time, this word that I just highlighted, chol, that kamatz is going to be what we call a kamatz katan, where it's an o sound versus the a sound, right? Uh, remember that? Uh, it was one of the last no. things we learned last, <laughs> it's one of the last things we learned last semester is that sometimes this vowel says o oh, instead of a ah. and the word hol nine times out of ten is o oh versus a ah. so uh, just so when, when you see the a uh, with the uh, with the hole right you'll a, know exactly oh, okay so okay all right yes. i'll read the next line uv tuvo hagadol tamid lo chasar lanu the al yech sar lanu mazon le olam va ed. Sandra, take that one on. Uvatobo hagadol tamid lo chasar lanu the al yech yech sar lanu. My zone, the alarm by it. Perfect. Ba avur shemo hagadol ki hu el zan um far nes la kol u metiv la kol u mechin. Lila, can you take that one? Ba'avur shimo hagado ki hu el zan umas um bar nes la ko ume tiv ako ume king. Perfect. Mazon le hol. Notice the hole. Beri o tav. Right? That's a hard one. Be, and then the next next syllable, re. Beri yo, right? So this is kind of acting as the end of the e, but also as a as a consonant. Beri yo tav. Asher. Bara, Baruch Ata Adonai, Hazan et Hakol. Terry. Hazan Lakol, Lakol, um, the, the re, he, Talk. Right. Be re yo tav. It's a tough one. Be re o tav. I share. Ba. Ba ra. Uh huh. Ba. Rook. A ta at a Was on. At Hakol. 
Perfect. Okay. And I'm going to, I'll make this recording for you so you have it. Um, hold on. I now need Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Hazan Et HaOlam Kulo Betuvo Bechen Uvech Bechen Bechasad Uvrachamim Hu Noten Lachani Lachol Basar Ki Leolam Chasto Uv tu va hagadol, tamid lo chasar lanu, ve al yech sar lanu, ma zon le olam va ed, ba avur shemo hagadol, ki hu el zan um farnes la hakol, Ume tib la col, ume hin mazon, lehol briotav, a sher bara, baruch atadonai, hazan et hakol. So I'll tape that whole thing for you with the beginning with all of that so you can follow along. Sometimes, I'm going to stop my screen share here. Sometimes when you're familiar and you've heard it so many times, like Birkat Amazon, when you go to read it, it's so hard to read it because you know it in, instinctively as something else um, because you've said it wrote so many times, right? And so, um, and so a lot of these prayers that you know for sure, um, once you start reading them, you realize, oh my gosh, I've been pronouncing that wrong or I've been skipping that syllable or whatnot. So it's sometimes it's harder to do something that you know, whether it's Kaddish or Birkat Amazon or something like that. It's harder to learn it because you've already have it ingrained in your head in one way. So the more, yeah. Are you? Will it be something that you um, send to us in our email? Or yes. okay, great. Thank yes. you. I will send it on the email. Um, so that sometimes is that sometimes is difficult to kind of uh, relearn something that you already are inherent in learning, and I think Birkat Amazon is one of those things. So, um, so anyway, um, okay. I had said at the beginning of class that um, that um, our curriculum will will have us going and starting. Friday night services um, and, and, and going through Friday night services. But before we do that, I want to give an opportunity if there's anything else, like I said, there's Birkat Amazon, but if there's anything else that you feel like, hey, I sit at shul and I'm so lost when we do this, what is that? <laughs> Think about it. Email me. And, um, and we're going to start, uh, next week, we're going to start with Friday night services. Um, and I'm going to get, like, I had the, uh, like I had the different page numbers for the, for the other services. I will get the page numbers for Friday night service and we'll go no, through, um, we'll go through some of the Psalms, um, Lechado D. <laughs> uh, we'll go through, we'll go through those that we, you know, that we're, that we sing at shul, um, so that you can be more confident, um, with that. Okay. And once we do the prayers at shul, we'll do the prayers at home. We'll make sure we know the, the kiddish and the mozi and the blessings for the candles and blessing the children and that sort of thing. And we'll go through that. Um, but like I said, what's more important is that you're comfortable at shul or you know online or however you're attending services these days so so think about it this week and write to me and let me know hey i really i'm really lost when we do this can we go over this and we'll dedicate some class time to that too okay all right i didn't want to, today to be too long because i knew that we're getting right back into it and um 
And I think Birkata Mazon is a good thing that um, is going to be easy for you to review this week and, uh, and get back into your weekly learning. Thank you, Lamore. Any questions? Any anything? Talk to me. Lamore, thank you so much. You're wonderful. <laughs> okay. Very uh, patient. <laughs> I I'm I'm so there. Are. And if you get and if you get stuck during the week, give me a call and we'll figure it all out. Okay. Thank you. Thank right. you so much. We'll see you next Thank you week. very much. Right. And uh, thank we'll you. go from there. Okay. Very thank good. You. Hopefully I'll find all my papers and my book before next week. Okay, good, good, good. I won't right. stop looking. Take care, good everyone. Good night, everyone. Good, good, good night. Bye-bye.